Hello, and welcome to Curiosity's Test Model 101 series. Today, we're looking at defining test data at the model level. Let's look at what we're going to learn today. So first off, we're going to look at understanding test data variables. We're then going to be looking at how to create a test data variable. We're then going to be looking at how to assign static data. We're then going to be looking at environment and model variables. And then we're going to look at previewing test data. So first off, what is a test data variable? So test data variables are used within test model to store values. These can be a variety of different values, including dates and numbers. And they are used when completing many different tasks in test model. The value can be changed at different points within the model. This allows the user to define the value depending on the use case within test model. The image below shows two test data variables, data valid and username. Their default values are true and Toby are respectively. So how do we create a test data variable? So to create the variable, first you need to make sure you have the model open and have it locked. So there are screenshots here below to show how what it looks like with the model. So you click the Explorer button and then click on the model you want to open. And you should be prompted to lock the model when you do this. Please click the lock button. If you click the read only, you won't be able to access the test data and automation tab. Next, you should see in the top left hand of your screen, the test data and automation tab within the ribbon. Clicking on this tab will reveal the following section. See the variables button here. And then here we have the add variable button here. So if you click that, this will reveal a screen which looks similar to this. And here you can add the different sections for your variable. So we can use test data variables we just created to assign a static value. So first off, you click the task, and then you click the data variable button here, and it reveals this panel here, and you can click the add button. Now this will show you a box here where you can put the variable and the value in. And what will happen is as you go through the model, it will change your variable to that value. Now we can also access environment and model variables. So to do this, you can click the uh, blue button here, and this will show you the model references and the environment variables that we can use. And here are the lists here. There are two ways we can look at the data preview. So the first is we can look at the hard code data or what the parameter is. And you'll see this using the preview button here. Now there will be times uh, when you need to enter a value in for the variable. So for instance, test model are good we need to put in a number for that because that is generated during the model. And as you can see, we can click the preview button and it will give Toby R5 and the 5 comes from the value I put in here. The other ways you can see what the data looks like at the end of the model. So there's when you select your paths, you can see this run button here. If you click this button, it will reveal a different type, type of task you can do. One of these tasks is preview test data. By clicking on this task, it will give you a variety of variables and values. And this will show you what it looks like at the end of the model. OK, so let's look at those points live. And let's see how we do it. Here we have the uh, model, which I've loaded into. First, I click the test data and automation tab. Then let's click the variable section. And this reveals this pane here. Then let's click the add variable tab. And let's put in a name. So what names do we have? We have username in there. Let's give it a default value of Toby R, and let's save, and then let's add another one. This is going to be valid data, and let's put this to true, and save. Then we need to click this save button again. Let's go and use this uh, test data variable that we just created. So first, we can bring a task point onto our model. We can uh, connect it here. Now, if we click on the task, we can see that if we click this button, it will reveal the test data section. Then if we click the add button, test data. Now let's change the value we're changing it to Harry R. And then click save. Now let's also change the other variable that we were going to use. So let's drag another task block onto it over and connect. And if we click another add button here, now this time we're going to change valid data and we're going to change it to false. Now let's also look at how we can use environment and model variables. So if we connect again this task block here, and then let's uh, do add, the add button. Now if we click on this uh, blue button here, 
we can see that we can uh, type in to these uh, references. So let's go ahead and add path GUID into there. Let's delete that bit. And here, if we send that, now let's see what the path GUID is. If we click preview, you can see that it doesn't know. So let's put in the value from the path GUID, which is now five. And then press save. Now, as we can see, that we don't really have a good test data variable for path good at the moment. So let's add another one. Let's just call this path. And yeah, and then let's just go into this bit and make sure that's worked. And press the save button. Now we want to go and see what this looked like. First, we need to validate our model. Press the generate test button. Now let's click this run button. Then we click the preview test data button. And now we can see at the end, we put we change validation to false. We put the username into Harry R, Harry R, and we can see the path GUID here that we've brought up. 